Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to react to the Game Awards, and then uh, uh, how are you guys doing on the tubes, on the U on the tubulars, man? I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, speaking of games, make sure you guys subscribe to the gaming channel, man. Things have been going crazy, bro. Yo, yo, yo. The following program may contain content that some viewers find offensive and may contain flash and lights that may trigger seizures for those with... Olivia Munn! Oh, hi, no. it's me, Sydney Goodman, here to greet you huh? all at... At what I consider I to be bro. my favorite holiday of the season, I, I the 2023 Game Awards. Chat, what happened to and Olivia Munn? Just like New Year's Eve, our Game Awards opening... Remember how she used to do the games? Y'all remember, uh, what was that? It was a channel on TV, bro. Tonight, the Game Awards will celebrate the best in gaming from the past year, and we've got more than a dozen new game announcements. Plus, G4. the gods of Asgard are here from Alan Wake 2. The Olivia. Bro, Alan Wake was boring For as hell, man. I'm sorry. Ever. It is truly magical here, live at the Peacock Theater for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and fans and getting you all stoked for our big show. But she before that, basketball. it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Yes, let's hear it. It comes from a creator who has already claimed game of the year in the past here at TGA. But this time, we're going back to the title that started it all for him a decade ago. Here's the first ever look at a beautiful remake of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, originally created by director Joseph Ferris. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. I don't remember this. Oh, it was a co-op game. Oh, that's fire. Nah, you know what? You know what they need? What in the world is this? Are they tiny or is that am I tripping? I've never played this before. Incredible, and how perfect that right after the world premiere of Brothers, we have the award for best family game. These are the games that bring families together or tear them apart, depending on how dirty you play. And the nominees are Disney Illusion Island, Party best Animals, fam Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstar, Chat, what you going with? and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Oh, it's probably gonna be Super Mario's, bro. And the game award goes to Super Mario's or Party Animals, I think. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah. Hold on, chat. Let me refresh this. Bitch, I did not. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the quality. Experience. The team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work go. together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. Right. And for me, my personal experiences, nothing brings a family together more than trying to rescue an, an empire, a, a kingdom in distress from the evil likes of Bowser. Bowser. Whether you're playing, whether you're playing as Elephant Mario, um, Peach, Yoshi, or Nabbit, this game goes to Now y'all want me to go back to YouTube after y'all just Thank said, you. go to Twitch, bro. He tried to hand the mic back to her. She was like, I already have a mic, dumbass. Congratulations, Super Mario <laughs> Brothers Wonder. And now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. Oh, great. I can't wait to see that in five seconds. Experience. Thank you. Congratulations, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. What? First up is the next game from Daniel Moland, the creator of the TJ nominated independent game, Inscription. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
There we go. Uh, bro, I understand that games like this, even though it looks like this, it could be really, really good, like story wise. Like the story might be amazing, but I can never get into games that look like this. It's just hard for me to do. Oh, he's a voice actor. Um... So chat, we're already caught up. Like it's not it's not fast forwarded anymore. Right? No, this is normal speed. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, y'all heard Netflix is getting the GTA? How does that even work? We gonna play with our remotes? The rise of the golden idol. Have you ever seen a butterfly dance? I ain't gonna lie, we need to see more on that, on that shit. Chat, what's the point of this extension? Do y'all see anything? No social awareness at all. Okay, but I cannot understand y'all. Okay, for the natural hair, sis. Didn't feel like didn't feel like doing voices. Y'all know I like a good uh, a good hack and slash. <laughs> Bro, Fortnite was still open. Okay. School days, but the monsters I fought weren't nearly as big as that. <laughs> you these days with your giant monsters and your social media. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across 50 plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating gaming creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Okay. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after a very important message. Don't skip this cutscene, people. Y'all just got here. The journey ended here. A place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. I hate this voice. Oh my gosh. Yuck. Yet generations later. Generations later. The world remains untamed. Our reunion was foretold. Our paths destined to cross. Why is she talking like she's talking I'm like PU? Administrator. Oh, yuck. You'll never know the path that you lie on. Is this Genshin Impact? Chat, I never want to play like. Wait, what? 
I mean, the trailer made it look really cool. Bro, is that Samurai show out? Oh my God, the blue eye Samurai or something? I gotta watch that. Uh, what the hell? It's been out? Yeah, yeah, I know. I forgot about it. There's so much stuff going on on the screen. Like, look at how many, like, prompts there are on this, on this HUD. You are the chosen one. Published by Bibi. The rogue trader has fallen. Now I must take up their mantle. To restore the dynasty to its former glory. Dynasty. To reclaim what humanity has lost. To venture forth into darkness and bring the light of the Emperor to the uncharted void. Dangerous heretics, vile mutants, and Xenos threats beyond number. See, this is how, um, must be Baldur's Gate be playing. Choices I make will shape the course of my destiny, and with each haunted step, I wonder. Like this looks cool for if they're like the audience, an audience that likes to play games like this. But I, I don't know if I can play a game like this. It's like got to look a certain way. Wait, you're Connor Kenway. Good thing for you that I am here then. Today, oh you hell no! To the oh yeah, I throw up. By the neck. For his crime, the penalty is death. I'm in search of a treasure. I get that? sick, bro. Day on the canals with my good friend Itzio. What could be better? Assassin's Welcome Creed Mobile. It's Assassin's the Creed VR. VR games just look so bad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That is crazy. Give VR 10 years. No, I know for sure it's gonna get better. Obviously, it all starts somewhere. Welcome back to the 2023 Game Awards opening act. I'm still Sydney Goodman here with another award, this time for innovation and accessibility. Now you just get sick so you don't like them. Massive. Bro, you can't look at that compared to how other games look and, and be like, like, what the fuck are these graphics? Like, regardless if it's a VR or not, the graphics the aren't have created software and hardware that make it possible. But of course, it's going to get there. All abilities to experience yeah, no. the medium of gaming with accessible features and technology that get us all one step closer to a seamless play for everyone. These nominees are doing the work, and they are. Diablo 4, Forza Motorsport, Street Fighter 6, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. Woo! And the game award goes to Street Fighter 6, please, y'all, you guys. Forza Motorsport. Thank you so much uh, for this. Um, okay, this is either they're both tall or she's ago. short as fuck. We've seen a dramatic shift in the whole industry towards making games more and more accessible. And with this list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point, I, I think we've made the most accessible racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. They're Bro, really the real winners here. It looked like she took a spoon and then like wrapped it around her arm. I'm on your head, girl. No, I'm joking. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort, championing for accessibility and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team and our accessibility leadership team. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Brandon Cole for being our 
uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the mm. last two years. Mm -hmm. We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do. Mm. So thank you very much. Oh my God. That was about to play the music on her ass. Did y'all hear it? Oh my God. Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. Here at the Game Awards, we believe strongly in accessibility and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. They said. And our next developer, <laughs> The Odd Gentleman, believe that by making their games and their company accessible and inclusive, they can develop new types of gameplay mm. with stories that everyone can enjoy. Mm. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. Uh... What? Is this a Disney movie? Wouldn't it really be like this though? Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. Come on. It was an easy, simple joke. Okay, come on. It's a fucking joke, bro. Jesus. Oh my gosh, bro. It's like, it's the most basic joke. It's not even crazy. Come on, man. Yo, Netflix, what are y'all cooking, bro? What are y'all cooking? Coming to they what is what are they cooking right now? What's Honestly, going on? I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. The nominees for best esports athlete are Faker, Zaiwu, Demon One. I don't know any Hydra, of these people. Ruler and Imperial Howe. And the game award goes to Faker. For best esports coach, the nominees. Oh yeah, are I remember I voted Potter. Potter, Zonic. I voted Gunda, Potter because Potter, Ecstasy, Harry Potter. And Homie. Potter. And the Potter. Game award goes to Potter. Potter. Yes. Potter. Yes. He's the chosen For one. Best esports event. Here are the nominees. Evo. 2023 League of Legends. We don't World care. We don't care, Evo. Last TV Paris Major 2023. Evo. Evo 2023. The International Dota 2 Championships 2023. Evo. And Valorant Champions. Don't nobody play Valorant. And the game award goes to Evo. 2023 League of Legends World Championship. For best esports game, the nominees are Counter Strike 2, Dota 2. League of Legends. It's gonna be League of Legends, bro. No, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, Counter Strike. And the game no, goes to it's gonna be Counter Strike. Valorant. And finally, the nominees. I like for Valorant. I like Valorant though. Are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, and. Yo, chat. I'm not gonna lie. The way these votes are going. The, game goes to the way these votes are going. I think Baldur's JD Gate for Gaming. sure got. I think for, I think Baldur's Gate for sure Here's got Game of the Year. I, I think it's wrapped, bro. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my father and his father before him. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way I think back a lot to of the mid 1800s. I think a lot of the people who even played Spider Man just like Spider Man and don't even watch this these game and awards shit. First up is the latest game from a team that won at the Game Awards back in 2017. So I think we can trust them to crush it again. This is Windblown. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, it's a cutscene. Damn. 
<laughs> wind no <laughs> wind blown not wind blown <laughs> what happens when you get blown it's it's a blowing simulator wind blown what happens this is the simulation oh wow this looks fire though is this multiplayer or co-op i mean wait a minute and if we get cutscenes like this for levels after you beat levels, yo! Revive. Or is that a power up? Oh my god. Oh my god. People are like, wait, they're literally dying. Wind blown. Wind gawked down. Uh, that looks that looks like it could be cool. You and the homies. I'm the artist of of thumper, the humper, thumper. What am I looking at? Is this like geometry dash, but like squiggly lines? Oh, it's like that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I remember that game. 2024. Huh? Yes, Thrasher, in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming from him in 2024. Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also throwing a massive Game Awards viewing party over at Samsung's New York City flagship location with Typical Gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at Chica. two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT Experimental Physics Lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Let's check Period. out what Samsung is coming out with now. Crowd laughs. She's two for two with the jokes. Starfield ass. What are we looking at? Right. What was that? Good morning. Let's begin. Sewing is my life. Last one. Go for it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Persona? Walk. So like what is these games? What is the what is the point? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. Next. Come on! Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. Soon, 
Oh, is this like a remake or a remaster or something? So is this like, uh, like turn-based? It's a turn-based game. Yes, I was hoping for a new persona, a new persona game that is. I still want to be Sydney. But enough about me. Make sure to uh, stay that, tuned as Google that one and didn't hit. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Five are bringing you um, a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. It's going to be an I think epic I, event I might just get it on like the, this next world I might get it on the Steam Deck. It's the product of a surprise team up between two nominated games tonight. Let's check it out. <laughs> She's there all day. I don't like underwater games. I don't like water games like games of water in general, bro. I be hating water levels in every game. Super Mario, bro. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Shark Tale. <sighs> bing, 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 bing. Bro, the worst level in Kingdom Hearts was was. I can't believe it. It's almost the mermaid. Time for our big show. The Little the Mermaid. The theater is filling up behind me. It's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement, but I have to keep it together because I have the next award ready to go. Here are your Can we focus on her? content creator of the year. Iron Mouse, People Make Games, Quackity, Spring, and Cypher Yo, PK. fix the focus. It's blurry. And the game award goes to... Cypher PK. Iron Mouse. Bro, what is happening, bro? So, Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated. And sadly, we're not in the Matrix yet. But she did send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. I am so incredibly honored. Oh, that's the nigga that was at the thing. Of the content creator of the year. Bro, they literally had an iPad at the at the streamer uh, awards or whatever it was called. Like, they had an iPad gratitude with this nigga's face on it. Community that is gathered and was just like, streams. And twisting and her around to see also shit. I want to extend a very special thanks to Vishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much to my team that helps what? me every single day. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe this is all happening. How thank old is this again, person, everybody. bro? Congratulations, Iron Mouse. Okay, we're getting so close to the big show, but I'm not ready to let go just yet. And no, I'm not a narcissist. I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world premieres. And up next is a very special world premiere. I thought 15 years. She was about to say something else. I'm just a, you know. <laughs> Too bad they never made another one. I heard it is a game. Or I've seen stuff, I think, on this. Wasn't this on the iPhone? I feel like I remember this being a mobile game or something. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy that the show hasn't even started yet. This is just like pre shit. Now, now. All mid games. What? Man, that 
is it hasn't really watch. started yet. Almost as satisfying as the I'm be honest. Show I don't like the dress. Away. I'm we sorry. Have one more huge. I like the nails. I just don't like the dress. Brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Hold Let's on. Let's do this. Hold on. Chat, the reason why I haven't really gotten a persona is because, like, it's a story about a world I like, very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. Okay, hold on, like see? The world His Highness once dreamt of. I like this. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. I, li I like how this sounds. I like stuff that's, like, kind of, I don't know, not in the real world, more like night shit. Or, like, I don't know how to explain it. A seat in combat like this. I don't have a problem with turn base, but I like to get in the mix, you know. And I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inauguration of the yeah. tournament for the throne. Yeah, I'm playing this. I'm getting this on my Steam Deck for sure. Of this is for sure going on my I plan. I'm playing this on the Steam Deck. It tells of a world united as one tribe. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. Our lives are decided at birth by tribal Play fate. on stream? Bro, y'all would not want to watch this, bro. Y'all would be calling this boring. And all types of shit. Whoa! This looks amazing, bro. We do. Please don't. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna play this for sure. Okay, my friends, that is it for our opening act, but we are very far from done. Our big show is about to begin, but don't worry, this isn't the last you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby. And I cannot Yay. wait because this show is absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. Who? And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge They said the tonight. great Gonzo? Okay. Thank Who you is all that? For going on this journey with me. You're the best companion. Nigga, the, the Muppet? Like, what are we talking about here, bro? <laughs> 2023 Game Awards starts now. Who the, who the hell is that? <laughs> Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Now, here's your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. Hey! Chat, give him your flowers. Give him your flowers. He deserves that shit. Holy shit, this man's a legend. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. Yeah! Tonight is our 10th TGA, a global celebration of video games, and boy, do we have a show for you. I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on. There's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Now, that suit is clean, though. That suit is clean, bro. I like great games. I like it a lot. Comfort us, help us understand different perspectives on the world, and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play, are insanely special, and we're going to celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams, and many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017 for Breath of the Wild. Good luck tonight. This is it. Why he got my name One in his mouth? One of our mouth. industry's <laughs> greatest creative and technical forces, Mark fuck? Cerny, PlayStation's 
lead system architect celebrating 25 years of Cerny Games. Thank you for being here, Mark. <laughs> yeah, they like, of course, the team behind no Pizza fun. Towers here, too. They really just egoed the hell out of them. Everyone's what? here. Melina Jurgens, our best performance winner in 2017 for Hellblade. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. Now you got to think about it though, Shaq, because they don't—they don't speak the, the language, right? We are to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who so are celebrating like, 40 years of Capcom this year, and a Game of the Year nomination. It's like imagine you're in a place Evil. where Welcome, you don't guys. where you don't understand anything, and, they, and then you just randomly hear your name. You what? <laughs> show. So let's get right into it. To present tonight's first award is last year's winner of best performance. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards, yep, we're gonna do it, the actor behind Kratos in God of War, Christopher Judge! Yes! 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> Damn, look at this guy! Oh, what a card. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Say it. Say boy. Say boy. <laughs> Say it. It is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year. Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> Mother. He just got up there. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I'm not gonna stand up here making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. Okay. No eight minute speech like last year, but fun fact, my speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Yo! <laughs> Chill, twin! Chill, twin! Chill, twin! Chill, twin! <laughs> Yo, are the, are the game developers there? Uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're better than that, man. You don't need call. I'm here to present you don't need it. the award for best performance in a year of games, beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. These actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Best performance. Chat, here we go. Revenge. Oh my God! I love this game. It's been a long five years. I love this game too. Hope may feel beyond our grasp. You play grown up games. I didn't get the. I didn't play this, bro. I, I really wanted to. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? Bro, I couldn't. I just can't get. It. I, I couldn't get into the game, bro. I'm sorry. A star. Spoilers. Thanks. Now I'm not playing this game anymore. I just got spoiled. Yes. Yes. I'm the hero here. He. I ain't gonna lie. He need that. He needs that. He needs that. He needs it. Whoever wins, Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to, thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. And I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record seven minutes, 59 seconds. Mm. And the award goes to. Yuri, come on, bro. Neil. New bar. Yes, yeah, it's, it's raps, chat. It's raps. Baldergate 3 game of the year, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Baldergate 3 game of the year. It's it's over. Like holy shit, like what? I mean, you know, congrats. I'm not hating. I'm just like, really? Okay. You know? Hi. Wow. Um, this is unreal. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. Thank my incredible this nigga showed up in actors, full armor. Nominees, unbelievable talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian, 
uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody, uh, to uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow actors, 248 incredible actors that gave it heart and soul, uh, to mi familia, gracias para todos, gracias, a gracias, y Coco también, and to my agents, I will thank you later, I'm sorry, I'm going to wrap it up apparently. One thing I will say, please, if that's okay, the community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. I appreciate it. None of us are. Thank you. That's the music they need to play. This music right here. That boom, dun, 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 dun. Because, bro, high key, the music that started playing literally made his speech hit 10 times harder, bro. <laughs> it literally made his speech hit 10 times harder. Congratulations. They just need to come in with. Thank you. Uh, there are lots more awards to come, but now it's time to look ahead to what you'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. I can't. I'm ready for this. Damn, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's like, incredible thrill to introduce Baldur Gate 3 is, 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 was on Demon Please Mode this year. Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best selling author, Matthew McConaughey. How are we doing? All right, all right, all right. Yay. Holy shit. Matthew McConaughey, what the hell are you doing here? Thank y'all for having me. Somebody's going to be here. Somebody's going to try to get a moment. Good to be here with you at the Game Awards. Uh, mm -hmm. I was going to come out and I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, hey! all right. But they told me. They said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, we'll see how that, how that, how that handles. I'm here tonight pew, because I have a pew, world pew, premiere pew, for you pew. from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. Mm -hmm. I'm also here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. I'll play it. I, I can't promise that. Yeah, it, it depends. I love you, but... When the Archetype team first you know? reached out to me, I was I'm going to see if I can get an ad or something. part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. In this game, time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for generations to come. Hold on, hold on. Personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. <laughs> and now you can too. <laughs> this nigga's so, so now cool. I'm proud to share the now first ever too. look at Exodus. Exodus. Hold on, chat. Lock in, lock in. Yo, stop clapping. Shut up. Max, we need to head back. Mm -hmm. What she found that day was a miracle. It would be our salvation to fight against the Celestials, humanity's greatest enemy. This is it. They found us. Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. Is that Barack I Obama? Them away from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me but an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. No, come with me! Wait! Please! Tom! Why didn't he go in there? I love you. I thought you could have went in there with her. 
our service. Our sacrifice <clears throat> discovers worlds, seeds hope, breaks empires. We are the travelers. So what the gameplay look like though? what's scary about this is though is that it looks like those like games were that is a very exciting project giving me some mass effect vibes and i appreciate the team sharing the first clips of gameplay uh, at the end there looks great all right well now we're gonna go right on to another world premiere. damn okay it looked like one of those games where it's like you get a whole bunch of different type of powers and that's where it, like i don't know it just like it gives like i'd be scared of forespoken the forespoken effect where it looks cool, you got all these powers, but it's like in an open world with nothing in it but the same type of enemies. Ah! You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. What is this? The myself. DLC. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? For fun. I must face this. Oh, it's like a gauntlet. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. Okay, it's a gauntlet. There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, Bro. unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC God of War Ragnarok Valhalla but they deserve as payment. a gift to the community, and you will be able to download it in just five days on December 12th. Oh my gosh, bro. Amazing. All right, switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. I love that this show can give a platform to independent Bro, creators. that was the God of War their like. game in 2019. That was the God of War 3 season, music. And their next project is equally exciting. God of War 2 and 3. And unexpected. Dun, 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 dun. Da da dun 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 da da dun Brrr. A new video game for you and your friends. Thank you. Is this a hunting game? Ooh, there they are. What? I didn't expect it to look oh, like this. I see them. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Walking out the rock, walking out the rock, walking out the rock. Nigga shoot a flare, nigga shoot a flare. Come on, let's go, let's go over there. Who that? I don't even know. But let's go, let's go with the flow. Hey, I got binoculars. Hey, I'm a little boy. Hey, I'm finna jump in. I'm finna jump in, huh, huh, I'm finna jump in, huh, huh. Landing on my butt, landing on my butt, look like an ant, don't need much, don't need much. Look at these toys, look at that bridge, look at that, mm. look at these legs, mm. uh, confetti, huh, wait, huh, my belly, huh, huh, yeah, I got it, huh, wait, 
I'm blind. Big walk, big nigga, big talk, my wallet. Oh shit! 2025? You think you GTA? Super fun, right? I did a play test of that game about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. How much they right, pay for this? While you're watching TGA, head to tgasteamdeck.com right now. We're doing another Steam Deck giveaway. This time, it's the brand new one terabyte Steam Deck OLED featuring an HDR Already OLED Already got it. Enter now only during the live show at tgasteamdeck.com. They all got it for me for Christmas, but I got to open to it. Win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, awards, and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. I'm here to save a prince. Boy, you is not Kratos. Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Take the lead, Sargon. You are to leave for Mount Karth at once. Bring him back. Bring back my son. A Ubisoft original. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path before. Farah, are you all right? I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Damn. Am I still alive? Hmm. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. That big masked enemy looked fire, though. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend? I'll do whatever it takes. Okay. Are they boxing for real? Oh, Prince of Persia. Okay. The Lost Crown. Okay. Fortnite. We was just on that. This is cool, though. This mode This mode is cool. Like, I mess with it. I'm not going to lie. I mess with it. Hold on. Anyway you want it, that's the way you need it. Anyway you want it. That's a whoa Bro, they literally made a whole castle. Oh no, they sh they, they they shit is like OD. Nah, they got a full they got a full squad in there. We we just got four people. Those things are so annoying, bro. Oh, you can just, if you have a shield, you can just block it. Yes. Oh no, these dudes are OD. Oh my God, they have a car. There, there literally is a car. Oh, they have a float? They have a float. What? They have rockets? Please welcome a former Game Award winner for best performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgens. Melina Jurgens. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Hylon. Hylon. 
I ain't gonna lie, I thought there was a game. I was about to say, oh my god, this shit looks so realistic. What the hell? All right, hold on, Chad. Let me get my food real quick while they're while they're cooking. Let's see what they're. I heard it. I'm, I heard it from downstairs. I heard it from downstairs. They kind of going crazy. No, 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 I want to play this. I won't stop this game looks like it's going to be fire. Until the very last beat. Fates away. Xbox only? Yeah, I have a PC, bro. Like, <laughs> buddy. It's not Xbox only, man. I literally have a PC. Wait, is this actual gameplay? Wait, what? You want the truth? All the lives inside me tell me to let go. No, I didn't play the first one. The shadow will always hang over me. I 
I just want to. I gotta play. This is just so fire, bro. From the stuff I've seen, it's so fire, bro. Mm, dude, mm, mm. Where's the gameplay? Wasn't that game? I thought that they were showing gameplay. I literally thought they that was gameplay, bro. All right, what an amazing new look at the gameplay and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game, the creative director of NetherRealm Studios, it's Ed Boon! The best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for best narrative got us all in their drama, in their characters, and yes, sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Mm. Here are the nominees. Let's talk about it. Best narrative. Best narrative. Horror story. They're only victims. Bro. And monsters. I, I like. I didn't even make it to that dude. Me this day. Bro, they finna win that. They finna win. Attention, all personnel. We have uninvited guests. No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, I will press on. He's here on this some was so good, Joe. He's not himself. You want to join us? Bro, Baldur's Gate is finna win. They finna take over. And the award goes to Alan Wake 2. <laughs> That game was so boring. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Um, Alan Wake 2, from the beginning, was a very story-focused project for us. I share this with the whole narrative team, the writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Sinica, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay, Simone, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors on C. Bro, this game was uh, nothing Hannah, but putting Rosie, posts, pi putting pictures Holly, on a wall, bro. Uh, I couldn't make it past the black the girl, bro. <laughs> actors here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, Ilka, uh, uh, Matt and David, but the whole, whole cast, wonderful actors, and, and the song makers who made custom music custom songs to I'm not hating I'm giving my opinion story here tonight later guys I'm giving constructive criticism maybe speed up oh, uh, maybe speed up the beginning part you know it's just so boring coming true fright music so boring uh, putting up post pictures on a wall bro. Songs. picking up sit Thank off the you. ground and putting uh, it on a wall in my mind we wanted to push things to connect the dots to do something new and it's always a risk for you to embrace it and understand it means so much i'll treasure this always thank you it's a detective game exactly boring as fuck bro like what the fuck boring as fuck guys this is my opinion this is constructive criticism don't get mad this is my opinion constructive criticism artist to stay you may have recognized that incredible creator who built her own independent studio in Tokyo and she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show, just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're honored to have her back at the Game Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. She was amazing last year. Amazing gamer! <laughs> Hi, Ikumi Nakamura desu. Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I'm super excited to be on this stage Hold again. On. Look at the drip, Thank though. You. 
a fast. Oh. <laughs> fast. I want to say thank you to the Anshin artist Miteru. <laughs> and you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> Your support changed my life. <laughs> Today, <laughs> I am honored to introduce our first project, Kimberly. It's time to see the unseen. Meet it! Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> bro, she, she cool, bro. She cool. Gameplay. Break dancing so cutscenes anymore, so bro. Many incredible projects tonight. Thank you, Akumi. Now, tonight, it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big established franchises. And while we all love a big sequel, it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to brand new worlds like what you just saw with Kamuri and like this project. My sister, she seems like more. They should know by now we need A gameplay, bro. She loves like new. My sister cries. She drowned this evening, but still visits by the light of the moon. We prayed for summer. We prayed for fall. To pray. I like this art style. You got big old head. Did you see that, chat? No gameplay. Interesting. Ori! Ah. Oh! Ugh. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is for sure a Steam Deck game, bro. Look at this. It's perfect. for the wicked. March 1st. That's no rest for the wicked in action okay. RPG from Moon Studios. And more information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside Showcase. Tonight, during the Game Awards, viewers in the U.S. can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Chat, the Legion Steam Deck Go is gaming so good, bro. Oh, Windows my God. Gaming PC in your hand. It's like one of the greatest Head things to ever. TGA in, in before the end of the show to enter for your One of the greatest devices ever invented. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. What the fuck is this? What is the Legion Go? The best discoveries are the ones you really feel. The thrill of exploring new worlds. The rush of victory. But there's still so much more to discover. Oh. 
Every choice you make is a chance to feel something new. Good luck. Have fun. But does anybody still play that night? Um, what's it, what's it called? That take play. Oh shit. Gotham Knight. There we go. This game is basically like Far Cry. We did not want war, but they have made us warriors. Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora available now. Interesting. Interesting. Hala hala hala. This hit. <laughs> Good day, Sot. You're just a wiffle waffle. You can't even aim when you go into battle. I am a baron. Sure. You are a border. I write decrees. You mix mortar. Fire on me. I got an anchor. You eat a horse bread because your mom's a baker. <laughs> okay, what? We have been saying it all night, but it really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to <laughs> that's talk exactly about how the chat the probably looks. Biggest look. games. It's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets. That's right, the great Gonzo. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wait, it really hey, was Jeff, the fucking Muppet? It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, buddy. Thanks for uh, coming. I looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. What? Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? So is the guy like crouched there? Well, I really, well, don't, I really think. don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have what, have what have you been playing? Seriously, what have you been playing? playing? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, All right, that was a good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. Yeah, well, thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing, Gonzo? Well, lots and lots well. of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> That's right, you do love your chicken. So I guess that was your favorite part. What did you think of the ending? Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. <laughs> All right, well, any other great gaming highlights this year for you, Gonzo? You kidding? Actually, if you have the time, hey, you, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd my like favorite. to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. My favorite mother. Check Muppet. this out. <laughs> got the case board? Yeah, that's quite a conspiracy you've uncovered. I know, I know. You probably think I'm obsessed with chickens, and I can't appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. This is my favorite I mean, Muppet. Yeah, I think we're all thinking that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Zelda? <laughs> yes, let's do this IRL. <laughs> Come on. This nigga a crackhead. Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for best debut oh, I'm just cool indie for game. Kukos. <laughs> best debut indie game. Kakum. Oh my God, a butterfly. Dredge, bro. Dredge? I don't want Dredge to win because I don't like water. Ew, yuck. <laughs> Venba? Bro, I feel like it's going to be Dredge. I ain't going to lie. I feel like I haven't heard a lot about these games except for Dredge and... Uh, I feel as free as a cuckoo. Yeah! That's really it. 
pizza tower. All fiber. right, the great Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. And now to the task. I feel like I've only heard people talk about dredge. Pizza tower. Cocoon. Chat, I think everything that we think is gonna win is just not winning in any in any part at all. Like every category, I don't think we are just guessing anything. Wow. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, the team from Geometric couldn't make it out tonight, uh, but they wanted us to pass along their thanks for everyone who played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. No, oh, no, no! The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. Oh my God. Holy shit, right when she went to the mic. Bow, now, now, now. <laughs> announce the best mobile game of 2023 but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024 google play will be awarding the most anticipated title with their play more award on twitch so head on over to twitch to lock your vote and now it's time for our next world premiere oh world 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 premiere world premiere world world premiere They always do that shit in movies, and it'd be so corny. Oh my god, it's Fortnite. Did you save the game? Really? Of course I did. Oh, they're playing on that trash box. No wonder why I didn't got no power. You broke! You broke! Yo, our pupils look crazy. Let me reintroduce you. Is this all, is this all one? No, these are different games. Wait, is this a console that they're announcing? Oh, I was about to say, bro, what? Oh, it is a... Now, typically a world what premiere reveals Shut one up. game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. All of those are first of the many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several years. Thanks to Sega for that truly incredible announcement. Sega. All right, well, this next trailer might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. No. Here we go. No, no, no. Chat, shut up. Everybody, shut up. Everybody, shut, shut up. Oh my god, it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Chat, I'm on this. I'm on this. Chat, I'm. I huh? Look at the goat. The prince of all Satan's. Come on, you gotta have more. It's been so. Show the horrors of hell. Now perish along with this planet. Sparking Zero. A little more. A little more!
Whatever's down there is too dangerous. Dead by daylight? Yo, chat, love y'all, man. I don't know what it is, but this song is making making me appreciate life. Chat, I could literally be lost in the woods right now. Oh, it's another one of these games. It's another one of these survival type games. Darkness in the distance from the way that I've been living. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Hiding all of our sins from the daylight. Is this just like the daylight running from the daylight? From the daylight running from the daylight. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. The casting of Frank Stone? I ain't gonna lie, you might as well just add stuff to Dead by Daylight, especially if you're gonna keep throwing the name of Dead, uh, Dead by Daylight on the screen every chance you get, bruh! That's right, two huge names in the horror genre, Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games, are coming together for a brand new single player experience, the casting of Frank Stone. Now, tonight we're showing There's you a lots story of new worlds, for... but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. There's a story mode on Dead by Daylight? Oh my gosh, this looks like an adventure. Is this a match? This is, is this an adventure? Or is this a kid's game? Is this, what is this? Oh my God, it's a new Kingdom Hearts. Guys, this is, I don't know. Oh my God, what is this? Th wait, is this actually Genshin? Wait, is this Genshin Impact? Chat, literally, this is a game. Like, these are the type of games I'll be playing on my Steam Deck. It's like these open world adventure games where you just be running around and shit. Square Enix? I ain't gonna lie. I've downloaded like three different Square Enix games on Steam Deck, too. Visions of Mana. I'm playing. This is a game I'm gonna play. Why is why is a lot of these games revolve around free? I'm playing this game called Dragon Quest. Uh, uh, it's like a remaster, a remake of something. I don't even know what the, the rest of the title is, but it's centered around a tree, bro. Like all these games are centered around a, a magical tree, bro. Said, I'm playing that for sure, though. to the beat of a drum. I'm a playing that. moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. Oh. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. Watch your neck, watch your neck. Team Ninja. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation. What is it? What system is this gonna be on? Without remorse. If the drum drives the rhythm, it looked a little the weird. Directs the flow. Let's do this together. Like it definitely looks cool. I'm not a graphics like you know stickler or whatever. It just you move. You know, it kind of looks like when you play like a game on the Steam Deck. With like low Let graphics. Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. It looks like there's a lot going on though. As the smoke rises, so shall we. Man, fuck your Steam Deck. 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. Don't sleep on the Steam Deck. Rise of the Ronin. Rumors of Eldritch will sacrifice their partner for duty. So <laughs> each of you will do the deed. Duty. Uh, he's got a gun. Isn't that an honor roll? Like what? Forge your fate. PlayStation. 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 Don't sleep. That's Shout out to Rise PlayStation. Of the Ronin coming to PlayStation in 20. Shout out to PlayStation. Shout out to Sony. Now it's time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Here are the nominees for best action game. See chat. Armored Core 6 fires a Rubicon. That game was so good. Jet I'm voting Island Armored 2. Core or Hi-Fi Rush. Runner 2. Hi-Fi Rush. And Armored Run Core or Hi-Fi Rush. And the game award goes to. If it's not one of these two, I'm going to. Armored Core 6 fires a Rubicon. Congratulations from. Here are the nominees for best art direction. Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Lies of Peace. My vote, Super Mario anything Brothers but Wonder, Alan Wake 2. And The Legend of Zelda, Tears Anything of the but Alan Wake 2. And the game award goes to. Hi-Fi Rush, art direction though, come on. Alan Wake 2. Congrats, Remedy. Here are the nominees for best VR AR. Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon, Call of the Mountain. I can't Resident stand this. Evil Village VR mode. I don't know. Synapse. I don't know. And the game award goes to Alan Wake 2. Resident Evil Village VR mode. Congratulations to Capcom. Now your nominees for best mobile game: Final Fantasy 7, Ever Crisis, Honkai Star Rail, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Monster Hunter Now. The and cheer Jared that I just heard for Hello and Kitty Island Adventure is that trolling or what? <laughs> Honkai Star Rail. Okay, I've never even heard of that. Universe. All right, we have much more game awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. And some of our biggest game announcements are still to come. But right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees for best debut indie game, who is also part of the newly inducted future class presented by Old Spice. Bro, this is like kind of crazy. Me. In India, when I grew up, I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian uh, uh, did, did I? Uh, uh, did cook, I? But also ask? a way of expressing nah, JK, and all the things. Congratulations, dude. Um, bro, that that's that is that is crazy, bro. That is actually crazy, man. Like, oh my gosh. Alan Way 2 will win game of the year. At this point, bro, you're probably right, bro. <laughs> at this point, Alan Way 2 game of the year. Like, at this point, they might as well just take it. Apparently, it's just so amazing. Just take it. I don't care. I literally don't care. You got it. Like, this is crazy, bro. Oh, chat. There it is. That's a Steam Deck, right? I don't know. That other system that they just had literally looked just like it. No, nah, that's the Steam Deck. I'm telling y'all, chat, the Steam Deck is like the best thing ever made, ever. Holy shit. The best mobile thing ever. We get it. Oh my gosh. My bad. My bad. I can save someone with this. Hey, that's my jersey. I mean, that's my hoodie. Lost, poor, confused. Oh, oh God, oh Lord. Shout out to Tasha. I like Shout out to Tasha. Wait, wait, grind the, wait, do we have to grind the children? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't play this game. I'm pretty sure PG. Okay, sit down, very comfy. But the miracles of science give you purpose. Uh, I'm pretty sure PG played this though. Where's PG? Come on. I know he be I know he on one of these games. Is his beard Hey boys! Boys! Let me type this in the group chat. Nicotine 
addiction can make stress worse. Okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. And are you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Oh my god. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. See, like, what the fuck? This nigga the always- hungry purple dinosaur, dinosaur ate dinosaur, the, dinosaur, the, dinosaur, the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. My turn. Do you ever wish that you wish? Yeah. Oh! Purple dinosaurs ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale. Games don't need this much detail, dude. And quacking. Have ew. Wait, that's an actual actress, ain't it, Chat? No, I mean like, like an act, like I, I think this is game, the game thing, but like, ain't that based off of oh, actual actress? I feel like I've seen her. Okay, dude, like we get, we know your name, but we need to understand what these games are, dude. Like, what was that? The gibbering platypus slunkily furthest running down the river. Like what? There's no way you look at this friendly, be like, oh my god, I need this game. Pretty sure that's the game. Yeah, it's the therapist sim simulator. Please welcome the visionary game developer behind OD. This Mr. nigga here. Kojima. This nigga here, bro. This boy is extra as his games, bro. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこのTGAで、え、ま、新作のゲームOD、え、発表できて非常に嬉しいです。え、このゲームには、え、I'm really glad to be at the 10th G uh, uh, Game Awards. Really happy to show the new title, OD, and this title will feature uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Yeah. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? I'd be so, I'd be so bad. I like to do the same thing I don't have to do with the same thing I don't have to do with the same thing I don't have to do with the same thing uh, he said, like, type shit is going to be cool, and he don't want to give away too much, and, uh, like, some by, his, some by his wife or something like that, and uh, that he thanks the fans, and y'all some real ones, like, I'm summarizing here, but, like, y'all some real day ones, and he appreciate the love and support, and, like, if y'all hold it down for him, he going to hold it down for the gaming industry type. Type B. So I really like to always challenge new things, groundbreaking things, and that's my kind of rule. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and Ew, using yuck! Uh, cloud gaming technology, um, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But it's it's really to Chat, make remember it's not about Xbox and also something that it's about never, the console. No one has seen before is what I'm trying to do, and it is a game. Don't get me wrong. But it's at the same time a movie, but at the same time a new form of media. Oh, he's he's coming up with something new. Well, we can't wait to learn more about what you're working on. Oh, wait, wait. Is is there somebody else at the door? I know that ain't who I think it is. Everyone, please Yo! welcome Jordan Peele to the Kojima Yeah! 
no! Oh no! Okay! Oh no! Yo, Chad, I be clapping like I'm really there. What's up? <laughs> How's it going? Yo! Oh my God, Jordan, welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise. I know you're a big fan of Hideo's games, right? I'm a huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon. And uh, I, I can just, I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. I just be in his ear. He glazing you and right he's now. He's been an inspiration to me. He fucking with and you. And the opportunity to collaborate with him he said he loves is you. truly yeah, incredible. He's in my incredible. films, I'm always trying to nah, maximize the immersion. He's saying he chalk your put shit. Put the audience into the main character's shoes. He's saying he really biting your shit right now. Deo is the master of this. He said you his master. And he so does it on a whole. He said you can say the N word. Level. He said what he's cooking really up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! He's, he's glazing. He's glazing right now. He called you the greatest of all time. Two GOATs working together. Uh, Hadale, I want to ask you, glazing you too. how are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. He said he really like fuck with his uh, 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 key and peel. Um, he really didn't understand that he was actual director. He thought he was just a comedian. And when he first met him, he thought uh, that he was Tyler Perry until he was like mistaken. But then he, then he realized, you know, who he was talking to and now he really fought with him. Well, Jordan is one of those genius and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like. And I feel like I was really close. And we I feel like I was close. Collaborate something. And, and this time, um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why I want Rush to Hour 4 is crazy, J-Man. Okay, I'm actually, <laughs> he said thank you. Watch, yes. watch this. I'm gonna be close. He said, "Thank y'all." I can't wait. I can't wait for y'all to see the project. It's gonna be very amazing, and you guys are gonna be amazed when you see the game. I hope it's exciting for you as it was for me when I developed the game. A B C D E F G. Ain't none of y'all niggas got nothing on me. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much and I hope y'all enjoy this new spin on video games type shit. So uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of, um, um, it's not just Jordan. I have other uh, creative collaborative partners. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, I missed that. With me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they, I tell you, they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. <laughs> I didn't even catch that one. Well, the door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. He dick riding you again it. right now. We cannot wait to learn more. Hideo Kojima, Jordan Peele, thank you so much, guys. He said thank you so much. All right, I think we wait here for a second. It's time for another right, game announcement. Now. This one, 65 million years in the making. Dinosaurs. Oh my God, Jurassic Park. I own an island. No, no, wait, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. I had no expense. No. For this place, I wanted to show you. I swear to God, Chad, I've been asking for something. Chad, no, it's going to be ass. It's going to be ass. It's going to be trash. It's going to be stupid. It's going to be bullshit. It's going to be Legos. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on gonna, Isla Nubla. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No! It's happening! It's happening! It's gonna happen! Wait, wait, please don't be asked. This trick, this, the cutscene's too good. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Oh my God, it's the legendary scene. Don't do this, please. Show gameplay, just don't... Oh my God, I've been wanting a game like this, but... For just straight up Jurassic Park, say less. 
bitch look like a streamer. Oh my gosh, she literally didn't watch the movie. You're supposed to go in the cold storage, open the door, and then it runs after you, and then you turn around and- Is anyone there? Oh my god, get away from it! Get away from it! Don't antagonize it! Don't antagonize it! It's got to ah! Run! Run! Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Show the gameplay. Show, show gameplay. Oh my god, it's the... It's the T-Rex. It's the T-Rex. Everyone hold on to your butts. Don't move! It's eyesight is based on movement. Don't move. In flare! First person? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna be greedy. It's just not VR, right? It's not VR, right? Please welcome Grammy yes! Award winning producer, yes! Zed. Yes, yes! Finally! Hello, everybody. Finally! I'm honored to be here tonight to present Who's the, the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. Oh my gosh. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying I'm so sound happy right now, bro. of shooting a web. I'm so happy right now. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games, as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. I'm, oh my God. Here are the nominees. I need to watch that trailer back. Best audio design. You got it, you got it, Alan Wake, all right. Bro, this game is literally based on audio cues. Like, come on now. Bro, Hi-Fi Rush is literally based on audio cues. And the game award goes to... Hi-Fi Rush. Yes! Yes! Amazing game. Amazing game. Oh my God, we're actually getting a Jurassic Park game. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I just wanted a dinosaur <laughs> game, but <laughs> Jurassic, sorry, sorry. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hi-Fi Rush was a splendid uh, journey and difficult. Uh, 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 change for uh, 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 gaming and what we were trying to go for. And what we were trying to go for. We could have just done a hack and slash, but we thought, why don't we do everything on beat? And then, type shit. Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. That's Thank right. you I, so much. I got some of that in there. I just expanded upon it. I expanded upon the idea of the game being like, you know, such a, just a different idea and a different take. Beautiful. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you I love how every time the camera goes to him, he's just smiling. It's just a nice Fortnite. It's been nice updated with feeling. new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, Spider-Man hasn't won any awards yet, behind Rocket but Alan Wake has won everything. Rocket Racing, here's your first look. Oh, y'all were talking about this. This drops tomorrow, right, chat? The racing? Fortnite is literally becoming like Disney. They're taking everything. They're taking over everything. It's gonna be a one-stop shop for ev literally everything you want. I 
I think the next thing is like a J like a JRPG thing. Like just literally role playing. Oh my god, Fortnite role playing. Role play. <clears throat> oh yeah, sports games. You're right, you're right. I mean technically racing it racing is a sport. But now nah, they're 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 just becoming at, like they're gonna just do everything. Yo, chat, remember in the trailer? Where it showed Fortnite as the hub and then just a whole slew of worlds leading into it, like. They said, shit, we, yo, we gotta keep this ball going forever. How can we stay on top? Rocket racing. How can we stay on top? How can we keep people playing the game? by putting other games inside Yet of it. Fame still holds sway. You don't got the answer, Their Sway. Glory fades through time in tunes of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Game science. Science Are rules. Are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good. Of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. I was just asking about this game. game gotta come out this year right journey I, to the, the keeper of the new west welcome the destined one Ugh. the destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for those old rascals they surely know how to name what is my kind destined for extermination you're driven by glory not destiny so this is the face of the destined one it will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Oh, it's a spider. Great. Oh, my God. So fucking hairy. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet destiny. Drop the game. Win. This year, it's got to be, bro. Batman. Green Lantern. Uh oh. The Flash. Chat. Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die Who is to that? save the world. We can work with that. Wait, Diana's fine? You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. Why he rapping like that? Pick and choose if you lose. He's the fastest man alive. According to all these girlfriends. I heard this song before. Pig and shoes. I'm a shoes. What's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Come on. 
Chat, um, what are we thinking, man? Suicide Squad, and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes. Up I want to play it to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch Yo, drop tonight for those. Her nail or the the uh, things on her hands. Other that shit is fire. Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been ten years for Warframe, so you know, ten years for you. We assumed we'd get a seniors discount. Those sometime, gloves are just hard. Our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we Keeps have going strong. I know mm. it's because our community is so mm. awesome, mm. and we are going to be mm. showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do mm. have a trailer for you know Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. Whispers All right, thanks, in the guys. Walls. Let's take a look. Whispers in the Walls. For generations you've slept. Yeah, YouTube, hope you've been good this, this reaction. I know you guys kind of get your panties in a bunch sometimes with things I say or things you see in chat. It's all right, we're just vibing, man. Just, just sit back and vibe, man. Enjoy the vibes. The lidless eye has seen you. The Tano. Uh, what is this game about? It's another game with all these crazy powers. Chat, there was another game that dropped too with uh Oh my god, I can't remember the, the name of the game. But it was a game and I had an ad for it, and I literally couldn't do the ad because the game was just so it was so bad. It's the first chat, it's a first person game with like you have different powers. I can't remember what it's called, bro. Um no, not for spoken. Immortals! That's what it was. Immortals. Don't be late. Immortals of Adam. It had like different powers. And it was like every time it's like powers and it's colorful and stuff like that. I just, got, I just get flashbacks there to this is game. There's so much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to supergameawards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. It's like, bro, it look, it, it look cool, but it's like a lot of games be looking like this, bro. Oops. Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Rock a life like never before. <laughs> Super Nintendo bump, World. Bump, now bump. open at Universal ba Studios bump, Hollywood. Ba 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 the world, the wonder is not the field of stars so vast. The Dapaso. How many times are they gonna show Starfield, bro? Oh, is this Starfield? What is this? Hey, it is Starfield. Stop showing the game, bro. It's not a masterpiece, Vice. Shut up. Truly something special. An instant classic. Yeah, I wonder who did all these ratings. I would pause and read all this bullshit. A guy named Craig. 10 out of 10. Dun, 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 dun. Life to the living. Death to the dead. We oh, this is that game that y'all said was boring. From the lingering death. Chat, it has five to different endings. Let him cook. Invisible, separate, to bring peace. Let him cook. Okay. So ill, yuck. Never, never come back. Ill, yuck. Is broken. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Life to the living. 
interracial relationship ill. What? What? You, wait, what do you mean, Harry Potter ass graphics? What do you mean by that? Honoring my oath or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. See, it's always colorful. Hmm. Interesting. 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? I I need the police. You can call the police right away. You know what we need? We need another Bioshock game. Suspect down! Right is down! We got you! Watch the down! We gotta get you up! Look out! Ready? Officer is down and we need backup! Let's go! Get back! You can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go! I'm not going in! So, are you ready? Ready or not, not, not. Here I come, come, come. I'm gonna find. I know they wanted to use that shit so bad. So, what? Are, what is this? Age of Empires, Call of Duty, Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile. Steelers getting booty clap. Who would asked Head you to, to come in here and say on that? Twitch to vote for which title you want to Our win quarterback is injured, bro. Like, who cares? Play more award. They're done. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. As Dusk Falls. Creative director, Caroline Marshall. Is that Marshall. the slideshow game? That game was fire. Bonsoir, everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact. It looks like she'd be saying, no, 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 not before supper. At the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives no, on no, topics no, that you must have a Sepa first. From the climate crisis to cultural diversity. Sepa first, you and your boy. Horizons, foster empathy and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Impact chat, impact. No. Go away. Legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. I don't, I don't the know. Theme. Using this year to Goodbye Volcano High. Impact. It's going to be it's good. It's going to be goodbye Volcano High. Watch. Guys, it's going to be goodbye Volcano High. Watch. Or that cooking and the game award goes to the game award goes to Chia. Chia. What is Chia? Ch -ch 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 Chia. Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, Zero Power Save. Oh, I'm cooking be here, but I got a message from Phil Crifo co-founder of Ourself. I'd like to thank Ourself family for your trust mm. and unbelievable talent. Mm -hmm. Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project. Mm. And the entire population of New Caledonia mm -hmm. who championed and embraced cheer all along. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> <laughs> Get the translator is crazy. You know, you know what's even crazier is that I was about to be like, I got you, bro. Like, I was literally about to do that, but I was like, wait, what if he speaks English? So that would have been crazy. Ibambe! Hello! Ibambe! See, now that's racist. I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. Never heard of you, dog. 
I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But, but I like the fit but, though. That is a hard. That is, that is a hard fit. Here. That is a hard fit. Oh, okay. What? Sorry. No. This is this is crazy, man. <laughs> it's the script. I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger. So being up here now is like. <laughs> he ain't never watched this shit a day in his life. Hey, that's the uh, that's the guy. Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod. Hold on! That boy, a gamer! Golden Sun. Who taught him to say that? What you know about Kingdom it, Hearts? It, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. Mm, R.I.P. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. His fit is hard. <laughs> so. Oh, damn, man. He either a good ass actor or he like really like so the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm going to take another big risk and I'm going to show you what we've been building. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. Oh, shit. Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came. Critical before. Role? My Baba, my father. It said with support from Critical Role. Your story role. was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Hear my plea, Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Show me you are ready. Hmm. Chat thoughts. I was about to say, this is like, life is strange. I thought that was, what's her name? Chat, you know we gotta play this. Life is strange. Ah, lesbians, of course. Lesbians, of course. It's the Life is Strange trademark. What's the twist? Stranger Things. It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. I'm in. Now we have a world premiere new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Berserker. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Berserker. What is Berserker again? Uh, holy shit. Finally, holy shit. found you. Holy shit. Trampled by the one you trusted. Abandoned from 
your king. Oh, I thought it was called Berserk. I didn't know it was Berserker. Wait, this looks actually. I, I like how this looks. Ew! 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 This looks. Oh, because this looks crazy. This is no ordinary ghost. I like this artwork. To risk your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing it. I'm playing it. I'm already in. You've already got me. I'm already in. I cannot wait to play. Whoa! One of those games. Okay. The first Berserker Ka Kaizen. Kazan. Kazam! Kazooie! Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. Okay. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balfe, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII. I swear to God I was gonna say it. I swear to God I was gonna say it. I swear to God I was gonna say it. I swear. Let me listen. Let me listen. Wait, they're showing footage, bro. Yo! Oh, she just took that shit out. Oh, she finna stun on him. She took her earpiece out, bro. She said, fuck this shit. Yo, god damn, bro. I can't see the, the damn performance. Look at they blinded him. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro you Lauren. Damn right it and is. The game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. What we've done, that's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, dearie. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Make it make sense. 
Strap in, Newty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. I know this ain't Fortnite. Cringe. Cringe. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Y'all not Fortnite. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. Y'all not Fortnite. The category of best score and music. The nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And the like, award goes to... It's gotta be either... Final Fantasy 16. So, Kinsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes to Sea of Stars. Okay. That's Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. God All right. damn. Nominees for Best Fighting Game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Street 2, Street Fighter, Rocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter! Street Fighter! The Game Awards Street this year Fighter. goes to... I'm rooting for Street... Street Fighter yes! 6. Yes! Congrats, Capcom. Yes! All right. Yes! Anticipated game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII. Final Rebirth, Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. Hades 2, Like a Dragon. Final Fantasy, 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 Final Fantasy. Game Award this year goes to Final Fantasy yes! VII. Rebirth. Congratulations, Square and Nomura san. All right. Well, it's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. <laughs> this space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penokane, the next destination. Uh, what? Hoi! Universe. Do you still remember it? Fables about the stars. Is this one a butterfly flies? Like a butterfly. The stories tell of Sorry, what I don't, is I don't and what was. Its pages will always reveal something new. Oh, the camera. Hey guys, sorry I'm doing a reaction. <laughs> ah! Hey guys, it's the camera fine here. Okay, sorry. Uh unforgettable memories, but they are only I don't know. I just instantly think this is like Genshin with that artwork. Oh, wait. It literally is, I think. It won't all be merrymaking. Suffering and joy. Oh, it's the same creators? To the final draft of the story. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. It was so... I can't believe I had to do two sessions of this game. Or not this game. But, uh... Two sessions of uh, what you call it for three hours. Genshin Impact for three hours. Oh my gosh. I'll appear in your story too. Like Genshin Impact was cool for that first like the first like two hours. But then it was just like oh my I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. You think you so cool? A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter now is played in the real world, and tonight they have a special in-game event going on right now with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. What it's the available hell? now for iPhone and Android, so check it out, Monster Hunter now. Monster Hunter Coming up, now. we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. Uh, like the TV show? Fortnite.
Bro, it's crazy. The transition that Fortnite is going in right now. Chat, literally, there's a Fortnite festival, bro. What? What is the future of this game going to be? You got to give it up to them, bro. They're they going crazy. They're like 2 million, 2 point something million people on this shit, bro. Literally the worst game ever in the world, bro. I'm so sick of COD, bro. <laughs> It's so crazy because like I think I was the only person who really like enjoyed the COD campaign. But it was just short. It was just like really too short. But I thought the idea of them like it, with it being like open and you do you you do it like the way you want to do it was kind of cool. I do like linear more though, I'm not gonna lie. I do like linear more. Skull and bones, a Ubisoft original. February 16th. Three player co op. I don't like water. Counter! Counter! Defy the legendary pirate myths. Travel across the world and conquer countries and claim them as your own. You can't be stopped with a mask of a skull. All right, we're back here at the Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won best game direction in 2021. What's up, young Donnie? Famous dev, appreciate you. Thank you for the resubscription. 36 months, Bethesda. From the studio that bought you Dishonored and Deathloop. Arcane Leon, Lion, Le Lion. The barbershop. Man, I don't bite. Lock up tight now. I thought that nigga was Blade. It's just getting started. Wait. Joining me now are Dinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel to tell us how did this come together? Who making this? Well, Jeff, let oh, me they tell just you said the it already. superpower of Marvel games is our constant oh. focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan favorite characters that they love. Oh my God. And we are huge fans of Arcane Leon, not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic I gonna lie, chat. passion. Insomniac set the standard, why. bro. On Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team up. Insomniac set the yes, standard, and we're uh, not gonna settle for less. And this loop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, is this Blade? Said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take. Is this on the Blade a voice actor? That we both love. And. We ate it up. 
Okay. I mean, the arcane okay. touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. And, I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action-adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dingo, why this character? Well, he's the Daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> in Paris? Well, if... <laughs> I like that trench coat, though. If my hometown was walled in, and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down. Ça serait un petit peu la merde, quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third-person action adventure Good. set in the heart of Paris. Okay, cool. So cool. please sit back. Only right. Let us cook. And voila! Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! Oh, oh shit! Oh. Okay, my nigga! Stunts too! Digga you got my attention! Much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. You right. got awesome. my attention! Thanks, All right. He now, said please it. Now, please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackie! Hey! 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 Surprise guest Eminem comes out! Guys. I'm playing Fortnite Thank with your you grandma. Everybody gave up. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay? Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet, so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, everybody get your motor revving, because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Mm. <laughs> don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> you got some good energy, bro. <laughs> okay, stop it. You. Okay. Love you too. I see you. I see you. Shut up. Okay. Today. <laughs> The best game bro, he having like too much fun, bro. is constantly expanding with new content and challenges, right? And that's what this award for best ongoing game recognizes. The games that continue to deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. <laughs> Tupac. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Put it this way. No gun, no fun. The hour is come, free try. It's for it's gotta be Fortnite, bro. Let the magic begin. It's literally gotta be Fortnite. There are two million people there were two million people on the game today, bro, including me. It's gotta okay. be Fortnite. I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so the game award goes to shut up, shut up, Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, I like Cyberpunk, I like Cyberpunk, this but is heavy, dude. that's crazy, that's wild. This is heavy. <laughs> that's actually crazy. Goodness. I'm not gonna what a lie. Journey. What a journey it's been. That's actually Holy. crazy. Video games are awesome. This is an incredible moment. From 
launch to one point. I love Cyberpunk though. Two point like. Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate wow. Edition. Like the tenacity and the resilience of the team, and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact worlds that are immersive. You know, the world what? being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun, fun as hell. I, this is exciting team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here, please, Sasuke, including this guy here. Please <laughs> say something. And I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey. Gave us feedback, made funny memes. I, was, videos, I thought I was tripping. Did he say Sasuke? Posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. What's your drop it? Wait, that's some yeah, golden right titles. Here, you showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. That's uh, some golden titles. It. It's an honor to be here, so thanks What you making, you. Monica? Over the past few years, I like that suit. Lightspeed LA, myself, and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, triple-A, futuristic open-world game. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future, but for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing, let's take a look, Steve, here we go. So it's not about to be, a, it's not gonna be a lot then. This shit gonna be short as hell. Just a cutscene too. We don't even get gameplay. Mommy. Sit your ass down. Are they robots, bro? I'm scared, mommy. Please. Hush now. It's going, go, going to be okay. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. What are, how are you going to say it's okay and then the demon is here? Oh. Oh, this nigga John Wick. Is that a girl? Look at that ass. That's for sure, girl. Follow me. Oh, shit. Mm. And that's going to be it. Okay, dude. Last Sentinel. Okay. Look clean. It look clean. Oh, or is this a separate? This is another game. They need to say that shit. They go from one game to the next, bro. It's like, is the person still standing on stage? Lift your head. They did that with the dude that was talking about his dad. Now open your eyes slowly. Not in those heels. That's this is terrifying. Take a breath and look around you. Oh, she's huge. I'll be 
Fate always tests us. You have to fight until the end. I'll find you. That, that's what I'm about. Her suit is like suiting right now. The first descendant. I mean, that looked good too, bro. That looks good too. That but was I the first descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I had my eye on this one for a while. We had a games call. ZZZ. Bale, their latest announcement right here at TGA. Zenless Zone Zelo. Yo, 2024 looking good for gaming. Okay, I'm super happy. We got a dinosaur game, okay? We got a Jurassic Park game. I can't even, I'm not even, I can't even complain no more. Or like beg for that. But there is one little ask, like now that we got the Jurassic Park game, there is one little ask now. Like, can we get a Godzilla game? Can we please get a Godzilla game? Like, come on. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, this looks fire. Yeah, this has got a uh, Steam Deck written all over it. I'm in there like swimwear. Z, Z, Z. Coming in 2024. Four, four. Oh. oh, we get a triple back to back. Back. They call us the children of Providence. Gundam style. Uh, what is this? My God. Mecha break. We brought in gamers to demo the latest cyberpunk update, but we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure these aren't actors. Powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. <laughs> wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. I would never have guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. Bro, nobody says it, bro. I would have been, I would have been sitting up there. <gasps> PlayStation Studios, they do no wrong. Shout the out to tide us. of war is turning against us. What the fuck is this trash? As Yo! We battle against the bugs. The automaton threat grows. I would have been sitting there. The I would have been sitting there. We need valiant soldiers oh, shit. to take Wait on up. these deadly robotic hordes. Hordes. Our message of peace. We're fighting the hordes. I would have been playing that game of like, yo, is this GTA? Hold on. The galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Chad, this looks like that Star Wars game. Squad, 
worth dying for. Join the like, what y'all bring me in here for? Is this Star Wars, bro? I mean, not Star Wars. Is this uh, GTA? The and then they would have been like, freedom. what do you think you're playing on? Today. And I'm be like, a PC, nigga? Like, what? You got me in front of a mouse and keyboard, the book? <laughs> like, what if I told you you were playing on a Chromebook? Like, why the fuck you put the Chromebook in the PC, dog? Like, what is this, bro? I'm hungry. <laughs> my honor is my life. What is your craft? My craft is death. This looks insane. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Ooh, that looks. This looks crazy. I want to play this so bad. I, okay, I, now we have a special surprise yeah. for you, live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up pure. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and Is that the uh, the motion capture dude, or is that the guy that the it was based off of, or is this a look-alike? Bro, what is Alan Wake like? What, the, bro, the first. Like 20 minutes of the game that I played was not given any of this. The game started off you playing some naked fat dude, bro. Like what what is happening? Y'all only played 20 minutes because I got paid to play it, bro. Like, the fuck? And all your stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. And it wore those two out of It was all too much. I had to get away. Dante L. Because I didn't like a game. Bro, the game was boring. Like, what do you want me to say, bro? How about you're an L? How about you're an L and you're mad? How about that? How about I'm gonna keep calling it boring just to make you more mad? I can't wait for the YouTube comments to be like really mad. These niggas be writing paragraphs. This is this 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 is like the game like like it turns into a musical.
Jesus Christ, bro. Can we see some more games, please? Oh, wow. That was the fabulous Poets of the Fall performing in the role of Old Gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life, something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. We all shared the same story, the same fate. A family of strangers, a strange family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. Whoever we were before this torture, we are now as one. Until the end. One final battle. My friends. Oh, that was it? Oh. I thought we were going to go into, like, gameplay or something. Okay. Joining me now is Ulf from 10 Chambers. Crazy, that was six nice years jacket. ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> you look good too. Yeah, Your yeah, game yeah. looks great. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're working on something new, yeah. and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And this you were one, known for payday things like that. So you're back, yes, back to some heist stuff. I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So happened? now we're back to doing a heist <laughs> game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Oh, I missed it. And uh, yeah, it's. I wasn't you listening know, to him. It is we what it is. To the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and 10 Chambers. Here we go. Yeah, these guys love each other, man. Oh, he called them, he called them delicious? What? Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuro prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Hi, Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about That's your the numbers, man. Let's continue. Huh. What are you hoping to find in the Nexus Sentinels? You mother. There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, uh, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? Yo, chat, which Call of Duty was that? With the, with the, with the, with the numbers thing? It was, which Black Ops? Yes! <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who. Ah. Just like me, you caught here. Bro, I'm, oh my god, man. Just looking at this cover just brings back memories.
go? Easy in, easy out. That's our ride. Exoborn, Master of the Apocalypse. That was Exoborn. I met with the what? team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of The Division. And besides facing other players, the Division! Factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the Forces of Nature, unlock the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse, as they say. Much more is coming in 2024 on Exoborn. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Bro. Matt Mercer. <gasps> Matt Mercer! Woo! 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 Hey, there. How you wanna do this? <laughs> I Woo! am oh, so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Senzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. OK, let's go. The gods take everything from mortals. Uh, so. These lands dry. Damn, she got some thick thighs, goddamn. Thy spirits, their rightful path. So, like, I don't play like VR, it made me sick. Turn worlds to ash. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. Do they? And Do they? Each possession. He's gonna sacrifice himself. You will grow stronger. You will grow stronger. Guardian, here to right your wrongs. Do you still get sick if you take most of the I'm not about to take pills every time I'm trying to play a game, though. Hell no. Just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> it's been an amazing Jesus, year, not just bro. the games, but for adaptations of the games we love. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Okay. Oh, wait, the show. I keep forgetting. I think it gets in the game. Oh. Hello there. Now, how about we turn on some lights? Oh yeah, we saw this trailer. That's so disgusting, bro. Now that ending shot though, with all the nukes going off, or the one nuke going off, and they're on the motorcycle, that's hard. That, that's just fire. Oh, they didn't show it, dude. 
I don't want to set the world From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins. We can't see shit. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. Now! Our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for Best Adaptation. What? What, dude? <laughs> what, dude? Well, it says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> oh, yeah, there they are. Oh! Hey! God, no, Mr. Howard! Good catch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Chat, that guy on the Here left. The nominees for Best Adaptation. That was sitting in the chair, like... <laughs> best Adaptation. A vampire people, like, comes. getting on his ass. I pray for you. Or something, bro. It was like a game. It was like something that he was dropping. Or that was supposed to drop. And he was just chatting. The last of us! I got this. No problem. The last of us! Twisted Metal. Chat. I would say The Last of Us. That shit was. Game goes to. They nailed it. The last of I was about to say, they nailed it, bro. They know. Oh, look at. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh he almost slipped. Down, 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 down. Uh, okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us, and a lot of uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation production La -da -da. team. And everyone at PlayStation. La -da -da. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh no, y'all killed that. Good shit. I was about to say, I thought it was like a Pokemon Go when game, but younger, or like a Pokemon type who I was, Go game on the phone where you go around and you swing at shit. Took a lot of that anxiety Can you imagine if you r see random people on the street with these foam weapons just swinging at the air? Over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? 
Hindsight hey. is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary. Is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Click the Whenever clip. someone tells me that they've cried or, from something uh, that I've big made, thanks to it's HBO when... and the support they've given us, and a lot of uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists uh, for community none of our last of us fags to our big fags to a lot of big fags to our last of us he said big thanks guys he was flustered bro he was trying to get to he was he was nervous and he was trying to get to, to, to the word fans but was saying like but like the thanks uh to was like in in the way y'all know how to brain be sometimes bro big big uh, it's like he was trying to his, his brain was just trying to rush it so he didn't have to talk anymore guys i've been in that situation before i've been in that situation before man No man sky more like no man cares, dude. <laughs> I got him. I actually shit on him. That right there was no man sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, Sean uh, looks Murray. like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year. For I was no not Man's expecting Sky. him to sound like, like that. I said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Oh, yeah, nice. something very different, something maybe more ambitious, um, you know, for... <laughs> no Man's Universe. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> 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 Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, uh, you can see oceans. So is a word like that- Open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean the first- It's a word that starts with C world, and ends with right? P. Something without boundaries. Cap. Uh, and we're gonna let everyone play in it together. It's you know, a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're, actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're... S uh, we're very excited to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if, you know, people like it. Show the game. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. Show the game. All right. Show game it. Awards 2033. <laughs> show it. We'll be back. But no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project. You hyped I'm it up so much. Let's see. We, this better look amazing. Yeah, let's do it. It better look amazing. Wait, this shit's gonna be. What if it's empty as fuck, bro? Cause this is the thing. I feel like a lot of people are trying to make big, big games, but like there be there's like nothing in them. Like the concept, the idea sounds good. 
But it's like, what are you going to be able to do in this in this place, you know? Oh my gosh, guys, this is Legos. This is Legos with dragons. I'm being honest, I don't really like like survivor games like that. And what is this at the top? What is this little thing at the top, you see? That's why I, that's why I really couldn't get into uh like Minecraft. Is that Rocket Ra Raccoon? It looks cool. It looks cool. It's just, I feel like it's, it's gonna be like a thing where it's like, okay, like, but what do you do now? Light, no fire. It looks cool though. Remember that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going. To I feel like they're, they're running out of names to, to use. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage and actor Simu Liu. For like games and shit. Damn, what happened to you, bro? Oh, he got on the red bottoms. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. He's um, black. Guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to- So we're not gonna get a camera cut to him? Come on, man. All right, it's very important. Here y'all go in the um, chat, bro. Here y'all go. Keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre The reason why he hurt himself is because he plays weak-ass, boring-ass basketball. building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conqueror, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, Starcraft. Yes! So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Football, Look, it's a noob football, strat, I football understand. Football is so right? much better but than basketball. It. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, Not yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character. Football? Who, uh, I may or may not have gotten divorced. And football. Let's have a look. Are both better than basketball. I'd rather watch any, both of those than, um, new trailer. New trailer, pay attention. Lock in. Fortnite. It's like, bro, once you, once the game blows up, you can't use certain animations. Otherwise, people are just gonna instantly just think of something else. But it's like, then what can you do? Oh, it's this type of game. I 
want to see more of that Dragon Ball Z game, man. I want to see more of that. I need it. I need it. That was me. Wait, what? <laughs> see? Oh. Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, Queen! Uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best Action Adventure Game. All right, let's game. see what gets screwed over now. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me oh out of God. the story. It's my fault. This is something What else. is happening? Get it off of him. We can fight this together. Your soul requires... Alan Wake again. Just give it to him. Could you let the galaxy fall to this A literal adventure. You go on different planets, bro. You literally go on different planets. I ain't gonna lie. Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. I ain't gonna the lie. The award goes to. No uh, surprise here. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. I ain't gonna lie. Legend of Zelda. That is an adventure. Now, I would play Legend of Zelda on my Steam Deck, but it's on the Switch. Shout out to Switch. Switch making Switch a Switch. Switch making Switch a good console by putting actual good games on there that would make you have to buy the console because it only is on that console. Shout out to the Switch, gotta respect it. Xbox can never do that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for, okay. I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. I gotta thank my parents and I gotta thank my family and the fans for the continued love and support that they show me through the series. I hope that we can continue to make you guys happy. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. I hope it showed through our work and effort and through the gameplay. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who purchased the game, who played the game, and until next year. Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. That's what I said. Thank you so much. <laughs> nigga, you speak English the whole time, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for best RPG. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy 16. Literally. Stop. Rise of P, Literally just stop talking. Literally just stop talking. And the game award Literally just stop talking. Baldur's Gate 3. Here are the nominees for best sim strategy game. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2. Company City Skylines. Fire Emblem Game. Heroes, and Heroes. Pikmin, Pikmin 4. Pikmin. And the game award goes to Pikmin, Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Here are the nominees for best sports racing game. EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor. What Pass. is F1, Jack? This year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Turn 10. The nominees Forza. for Best Multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees An amazing for our night. Players' Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Let me guess. Baldur's Gate 3. Impact, Marvel's now Spider let me guess. Baldur's 2, Gate 3 and Alan and Wake 2. Of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to... Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. These niggas are on a goddamn roll. Holy Congratulations, shit. Congratulations, Larry. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung. Baldur's Gate 3 is broken. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to them, bro. They went crazy. Oh my God, Clash of Clans. Bro, I remember I used to, this, I used to be on this shit heavy, bro. I think everybody did, man. Wait, is that the actual globe right now? Oh, it was. What the? F 
Oh shit. Where are your shoes at, sis? Oh my god, I keep pulling out my headphones, bruh. The Jump Force team is working on Dragon Ball. Bro, I li actually like Jump Jump Force was fire to me. Body's bullshit that was a fighting game. Yeah, no, no thanks. But this looks fine. I love how this looks, though. I love how this looks, though. Uh, was she doing the splits? Did she just bite herself? Is this? Oh, my Jesus. She just hit a nigga with a boom box. Oh no, if I play this game, I for sure. I for sure played as that character. Hit a nigga with a beep with a boom box? And then she sings on your ass? Who is that? Wow. I'm pretty sure that's the people who play that game. I know that shit's crazy. Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. The fuck? Uh, welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. PlayStation, they already goaded. Square Enix is already goaded. Doesn't even matter. Like, PlayStation just wins everything. They're so goaded. So come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Some sort of crystal. Oh my. Enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name. What? And turned them against each other in the Magitek War. Echoes of the Fallen. Huge fights? Seems somebody's woken this place up. Huge fights? The question is. Bro, this game, this combat in this game, the story too is so good, bro. And the combat, oh my gosh, disgusting. The music, oh my gosh, I'm glad they won for that. They deserve that. And then we will not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. Oh, hell no. Welcome, my friends, to Mysidia. Oh, that was fire. You got the water on the screen and everything. Mm. Mm. PlayStation. PlayStation. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. Fire. A drop for you. Nice. Now to present our next award, Best Game Direction, Please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, God damn. Vince Sampella. 
Oh, that boy got that walk. He's feeling himself. All right. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Niggas can't say hi. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Yeah. Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. Right. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, mm -hmm. that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Okay. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? What the fuck? Together. Oh yeah, it's survive. over. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man, how to help you. What a beautiful day. It's literally a coin talk. Like, it's just up in the air at this point, bro. Bro, Zelda is so hard. And the winner is... Oh. Alan Wake 2. Wow. 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 Thank you. Uh, we want to thank Epic, Hector, Nicole what? for believing in our vision. Uh, crazy vision. <laughs> crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it and and wrap it up you've been on the stage five Remedy times for joining us on this venture wanting to believe believing it and and, and build it uh, you know we can pull into different directions and and nothing comes out of it but when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and and build something out of it Sorry. we can make miracles we can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts uh, our world today could use a bit more of that uh, one other thing uh, next monday december 11th uh, new game plus the final draft is going to be coming out New story content, uh, so yeah, go play it, thanks. Thank you, thank you Game Awards. Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of The Finals. The Finals. Bro, I think people played that. I, I remember I played that game for like a weekend, and then we never got back on it. Right? We started That's that shooting game, game, right? We set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. Yeah. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful. I was the, the beta. amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream. I was about to say, I have never heard of this. I did not and hear of course, this game again. To all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey. You guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, and enjoy. Let me guess, tomorrow. Let me guess, it's already available.
It is cool how the like map is destructible though. Of the finals. Is this a skin? That's right. The finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. Okay. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for okay. their favorite user created island. Did of somebody the say year. Fortnite? The winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map. While you're there, collect all the TGA trophies huh? for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The yeah. island code is yeah. below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. I'm sorry, did someone say Fortnite? <laughs> Midnight Sons of Fire? Wait, what about it? Bro, I haven't played Midnight Sons of Fire. Wait, no, no, no. Midnight Suns, I mean. Or is it called Sons of Fire? No, I, I haven't played Midnight Suns in a minute, though. I've been playing different games, but I definitely like I definitely like Midnight Suns, bro. Find it in Fortnite. No, literally think about that. Find it in Fortnite. That's kind of a crazy thing. Like now, it is time for you to join the others and complete our destiny. Wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. So I was just looking so hard because I was just playing it. I was literally playing it this morning. Baldur's Gate. I'm still trying to get the gist of it. Literally, the first thing I did was just I let some little kid rob some dude and I just let the dude beat up the kid. But then I asked this lady for help, and she was like, no, we had what you did to the kid. You didn't even help the kid. That thing a child get hit. How could you? I was like, damn, shit. I didn't know the game was like fucking remembering shit, bitch. <laughs> Yo, chat. Literally, I was playing the game, and I... They, All night, you've been voting on Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for. Bro, they said the little nigga stole something. They said he, I did an insight check. The little niggas took the shit, bro. I already knew. He had to learn his lesson. I didn't think he was gonna hit him, though. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, I didn't think he was gonna hit him. It's time for tonight's the final world premiere. That's right. We're getting towards the end of the show, and this one, I will let speak for itself. Okay. You hyped. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Is those? Are those the? Are those the 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 Oh bruh see I thought it was like I thought it was something else man Whoa what is this though Is that a chocobo? Okay this looks insane It's giving uh, horizon, but with actual animals. Mm, we getting spicy. What the fuck? It's a hippogriff. What? Monster hunter. Wild. Chat, what's the concept of Monster Hunter? Well, I mean, besides hunting monsters, or is that literally it? To hunt the biggest monster and you win the game? 2025, y'all niggas are not GTA.
Yo, speak. I'm like, I'm about Please fed up. Please welcome to the stage. I'm about Monster fed up with Hunter you, bro. Series producer, Ryozo Tushimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game. And wow, I got to tell you guys, it looks incredible. I'll take it from Everyone here. wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? It says 2025. I can't give you an exact date, but we're, we're thinking summertime. Uh, spicy. We're feeling spicy summer. Um, also, we're just excited for you guys to play. Monster Hunter is very close to my heart. And uh, thank you, Jeff. I'm very Tupac. happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title, back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you mm. as plan for release in 2025. Wow. Uh, I think everyone wants to know, when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? Uh, we have not, we don't have an exact date, but we're thinking maybe early next year we'll be showing some more gameplay, uh, some in-depth character, uh, like character story arcs and, and things like that, nothing too in detail. We're still in development, uh, we're not in development, but uh, the game is nearly finished. Um, uh, love Lil Yachty's new, new work, that, this new direction that he's been going, and Ken Carson, I ain't gonna lie, Fire My Demon's really been my shit like i've been playing that shit like while i've been we directing plan on shit. revealing more information about this game in uh the summer of 2024 so we hope you keep an eye out for it also capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary i would like to thank all of the capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these years mm -hmm. we couldn't have done it without you capcom will continue to create exciting fun games mm -hmm. uh and the best is yet to come Excellent. Thank you, Rio. Thank you. Great to see you. All right. Well, now to present Game of the Year from the upcoming films Wonka and Dune Part 2, please welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. What the fuck? Wait, what? The uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees Nigga. for the Game of the Year were truly inspiring. That's Willy Wonka! The medley celebrating each of these games, once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. Wait, chat, why do they say you, are, is this a troll? Wait, what the, wait, wait, I'm confused. Did I hear something wrong? This nigga's a full-fledged actor, bro. <laughs> He really be doing YouTube? That's, that is hilarious. Alan Wake again with another plug. Holy shit, man. That nigga, god damn, that nigga going crazy. <laughs> Chill, dog. No love for Spider-Man this year. This is crazy. I literally don't think they've won anything yet. I've seen more about Boulder's Gate and, and Alan Wake 2 than I have Spider-Man. Not a good look. It's all right. The streets like Spider-Man 2. That's all that matter. Not really. I ain't gonna lie. Not really. <laughs> Hey, they cooking right now, though, with the score, though. Somebody messaged me and said, Dante, as a fellow Steelers fan, Please stop me from doing something illegal after watching this game. I ain't gonna lie, I can't even watch anymore. Like, it's just, it's just, it's in the coach's hands, man. I can't watch no more. Legend of Zelda, the kingdom of tears. This shit is severe. I'm playing the piano, playing the piano. Ha da 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 da. Right now, my da. And I'm playing the do 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 do
Damn, it's crazy. Niggas really like reading musical notes. Loser! Bro, relax. It's a joke. Literally, 90% uh, of the shit I've been saying has just been bullshit. Relax. Damn, that nigga killing that shit. What the hell is that shit? Hey, here it is. Dun, 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 dun. That's cool how they do that. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. And the game of the year is Dune, <laughs> my movie. Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. Wow. Damn. That nigga already knew. Look how he came dressed, bro. I bet nobody on the Spider-Man team dressed as Spider-Man. They knew it. They knew it was up. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Actually, wow. That's crazy. Hey man, them dungeons, bro. Them dungeons and dragon niggas don't play, bro. Them niggas deep. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, Along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this God, uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo, Spider-Man ain't win shit. Maybe Insomniac is actually bad. Maybe they're not as good as we think they are. Congratulations, Spen, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th, 2024. Happy holidays. Good night. You mad, Dante. Bro, it's not like I developed the game. But it's just like, damn, they ain't win nothing? They didn't win anything? I ain't gonna lie, maybe, maybe the Wolverine game is just gonna be bad. Maybe it's gonna be terrible. Maybe they just should stop, bro. Maybe they should just stop, bro. Baldur's Gate 3 literally bodied, bro. Like, they literally washed, bro. Holy shit. Baldur's Gate 3, man. I mean, I, I, I started the game, so, like, you know, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what's up. But, um,. I still can't get behind Alan's Wake boring ass game. <laughs> yeah. Relax, bro. It's okay. You didn't make the game, dude.